So you want to start a garden, but you suck at it. Or maybe you're a gardener, you've been doing it for a couple years, but the garden's struggling, the plants are struggling, and you think you suck at it. Well, hold tight, because there's more to the story. There's that ideal because you watch that YouTube channel with the people that have the five acres and they're gardening and everything looks gorgeous. Every square inch looks manicured. Everything's blooming and always looks good year round, no matter what. Well, that is an ideal. And the truth of it is even they struggle. They may not show it. Maybe sometimes they do. But they struggle too. Their plants struggle at times and sometimes they have a hard time figuring out why. It's okay to dream and have that ideal, but in gardening you just kind of got to go with it. And if you love it, it's a passion, you're going to keep going at it and you're going to keep getting better. Because maybe it's not about how bad you suck at gardening. Maybe it's about a whole lot of other things. Because the reality is not every plant is going to thrive. You're gonna plant a plant, and sometimes it's not gonna work out. Sometimes no matter what you do, that plant is just not gonna make it. And you need to know that that happens to all gardeners, even professional gardeners, it happens. And it's not always your fault. No matter what you do, no matter how much Googling you did to get all the correct information and make sure that you watered it just right, pruned it just right, Sometimes that plant is just not going to make it. And you know, it happens to every gardener. I have a lavender right there and it's struggling. There's things that we can't control in the garden. There's times in the garden where you're going to get natural predators of your garden. They want to eat your plants and that can be bad bugs. It can be gophers. It can be deer. You name it. We've got a lot of things as gardeners that we have to deal with. And all of us have that. You're not alone. Despite the fact that I use gopher scram in my garden, I still get the occasional gopher or I forget to get out there and reapply it when it needs to be reapplied. And that's my bad. And sometimes, let's face it, we just get burnt out. It's just a lot of work. It's okay. You just take a deep breath. Take a couple days away. Your garden is going to be okay when you come back. Gardens will rebound. So if you have to take a couple days off, take a week off, whatever you do it you do it for your sanity because sometimes yes gardening is tough and we get burnt out and that's perfectly normal sometimes we just get bad advice watch a youtuber maybe they give you some advice maybe it's not the right advice for your area i mean you got to know your growing zones i'm in 9b that's totally different from somebody who's growing something the same plant in zone 7 in zone 5 in zone 3 so you really have to make sure that you kind of take the advice that you get, whether it's from your neighbor or from somebody in zone three and kind of weigh it out. Don't just take the advice from one person. If you see something on YouTube, Google it, get as much information about that plant or soil condition or plant problem and then go forward. So do some homework on your gardening and that's going to help out a lot too. And the master gardeners program in your area can be a huge help for that. If you go and Google master gardeners program in my area, you should be able to find a master gardeners program in your area. And like ours has a helpline. You can actually email them the problem that you're having and pictures and they will get back to you to try and help you deal with that situation. So that could be a plant or soil condition, anything related to gardening, take it to your master gardeners because they will find out and do the research as well if they don't have the answers and get back to you on that. And they have all of that knowledge that they can gather from the schools to find out research, the most up-to-date research for you and help you in your garden. So remember master gardeners program, they do have a helpline. So even if you suck at gardening, hang in there. It will get better. You're going to learn. And there's a lot of things that you can do to help your garden to grow and to grow healthier. One of them is starting at the base. That's the soil. 
So sometimes it's not you, why the plants fail. Sometimes it's the soil and the soil condition. Thinking about gardening, or if you've been gardening and you're going through some rough times, hang in there, get out there, garden. Gardening is worth it. It's worth every effort that you spend in the garden on plants, growing plants, being out in nature, enjoying the butterflies and the bees and the hummingbirds. It's like my favorite. And I love being out there and seeing a new bloom. I wake up, I go out in the garden, and there's a bloom on the flower that I've never grown before. There's nothing like it. Good days in gardening really are a joy. And that's what you garden for. You come out and you see a new bloom on a flower that you've never grown before, and it's exciting. And I think sometimes we hold ourselves up to these high ideals because we watch some YouTube channels and they have acres and acres of land growing beautiful plants and they always look good in any kind of weather. Well, that's an ideal. And maybe that's not the whole picture. Maybe the whole picture is something else entirely. I just want to say that credit where credit is due, I got this idea for the video from Brian G. Johnson TV, and he had a wonderful title, and part of it was Even If You Suck, and or Even If You Suck At It, and I thought that was wonderful. I love humor, and I just wanted to do my own spin on that, so thanks, Brian. <music>